Hello there, people of God. God bless you. Welcome to today's broadcast. I'm so excited because today is going to be a very important broadcast where I am releasing the prophetic word of the Lord for this month of September. This month of September will be a month to remember. And let me say that this is probably the most important month or the most important season uh, of our lives. And I don't say that lightly. Uh, and I know that we as prophetic, charismatic people, we're constantly in transition or we're constantly in a prophetic shift. Some would say shift. But I do believe that this is the greatest transitional season of our lives. So I'm very excited to share this word with you because the Lord has given me some downloads. And also the Lord has shown me certain things to release over your life. But this word is going to prepare you and get you ready and set you up for September and for the days to come in Jesus name. So let me know where you are watching from. Give us some hearts and likes. Do share this on your wall. This is your host, one of your favorite prophetic voices, Dr. Pastor Ben Lim. And uh, I'm so glad that you're joining us today. Amen. I'm so glad that you're tuning in, tapping into the glory, tapping into the grace of God, wherever you are watching from. Praise God. So get your spirit man excited. Get your expectations up. Begin to pray in the spirit wherever you are watching from, because there is going to be a word that's going to be released over you and to you and in your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. I'm telling you. This is going to be such an important and exciting season and time. And I am so excited to share this word over your life. Help us to get the viewers up. And uh, let me know where you're watching from. Comment below where you are watching from so I can give you some shout outs. Amen. Because I love giving our dear friends, followers, supporters of our ministry shout outs. And I love seeing where our friends are watching in from. Praise God. Someone say amen. So comment below where you're watching from. Tag some friends, even tag some haters. Amen. And share this on your wall because this will be a month to remember. September will be a month to remember. And I have a word to share over your life concerning this month in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Hello there, Alex. You're back in California, Westlake. Glory, Len Reed from Cape Town, South Africa. God bless you. California, Tammy Friesen. Veronica Ramia from South Africa. God bless you. Hello there, Bianca. God bless you. Aloha. Watch from Honolulu, Hawaii. That's Rosalie. Have you been to our meetings, Rosalie? Thank you, Lord. Marion from South Africa. Marina from Canada. Jesus. <clears throat> Hello there, Billy. Hello there, Natalie. Javarabrukata Chantel Arends from Cape Town. Look at that. We have South Africa represented strong today. Glory. Angelica from South Africa. Amen. Zababa Leluchi Naidu from South Africa. Look at that. Bernetta from Brooklyn, New York. Amen. Kingdom Nation family. God bless you. We got South Africa representing strong today. Hello there, Nicole Harper from Laurel, MD. What is MD? Sorry, Maryland, I believe. Rochette from South Africa. Southern California, Emmy. God bless you. Providence, Ivana, downtown LA. Kashika from South Africa. Tina from Cincinnati, Ohio. Shara Sherry from South Africa. God bless you. Look at it. South Africa is represented very strong because... I told you before, me and South Africa, we have a covenant relationship. I have a covenant relationship with South Africa. I love Dr. Ronnie Harbron. I love Prophet Kim Clement, Prophet Kobos. And of course, even now, my good friend, Prophet Leon. But there's something deep that God has put inside of my heart, my spirit, for South Africa. Faith Miller from Gold Coast, Australia. Rena from Botswana. Yvonne Guy from South Africa. Charles from Nigeria. Amen. Leslie Muller from South Africa, from New York, Kelly Kells. It's three it says Faith Miller. Amen. I believe you're watching from South Africa. Amen. So people of God, I want you to tap in right now. Because I'm going to start giving my teaching and sharing, releasing revelation concerning this new Hebrew month. This 
is a new month. And this is the most important month. Amen. Because this is the month of the 10 days of awe, of Rosh Hashanah, the high holy days. And God is going to take us high, my goodness. There is going to be a high level of his anointing, a high level of his glory that's going to manifest in this season, in this month. If you believe it, say amen. Come on, people. God. I saw Sherry Minas from Philippines. I want you to keep praying in the spirit. As you are tapping in, look at that, 1 a.m. in the Philippines. Verna says, I'm with Prophet Leon. Amen. Come on, people of God. Keep tapping in. Keep praying. I want you to share this on your wall. Because in a few minutes, I'm going to start the word and the teaching of the day. Amen. First and foremost... Before I start today's word, I want to share about my next two webinars that I'm doing. All of our Zoom webinars are now free. And this last Wednesday, we just did our, our latest webinar on the Heavenly Destiny Scrolls. And oh my goodness, it was so powerful. And I love hearing from the people about how powerful it is. I mean, there are testimonies after testimonies after testimonies. Amen. So uh, our next webinar is going to be on the 12th of Monday. Hallelujah. Oof. It's going to be on the 12th of Monday. And I'm going to talk about exterminating spying spirits. Have you ever felt followed? Have you ever felt monitored? Have you ever felt like you're being chased, pursued by evil demonic entities? You did not feel safe. Even in your own home. So in this Zoom webinar, I'm going to go in-depth teaching. And we're going to expose and exterminate these spying spirits, monitoring spirits over your life. So go ahead and join us there. And our next webinar after that is the week after or the Monday after. On Monday the 19th. Amen. Of September and this is uh, this is the 10 days of awe 5783 I'm going to be talking about how to prepare yourself for Rosh Hashanah and the 10 days of awe and what you can expect for the new Hebrew year 5783 amen for the new Hebrew year 5783 I'm telling you this is going to be very important for us to understand and for us to grasp what the Lord is doing in this hour. So it's an amen. So make sure you sign up, you register, and you join because it's going to be full in Jesus' name. Now, I want you to keep praying in the Spirit and tag somebody, share this on your wall because I feel the power of Jesus. And in a minute or so, I'm going to start the Word and I'm going to release a teaching. But I believe there's going to be a baptism wherever you are watching from, in South Africa, in Australia, in India, in Nigeria, Zambia, Botswana, Australia. There's going to be a tangible fire grace, Colorado, New York, Chicago, come on, buddy, Florida. The glory of God is manifesting, and Jesus is showing up and showing up. I never before. Someone say amen. Jesus. Someone say hallelujah. My goodness. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus. Hello other Francine. Jesus. Well, amen, people of God. Welcome, welcome, welcome. God bless you. I'm so glad you're here today. I'm your host, one of your favorite prophetic voices, one of your favorite prophets. Amen. 
My name is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim, and I'm so glad you're joining here today. And as you know, there is an oil of Issachar, of the tribe of Issachar that God is releasing, so that his sons and daughters, his children, we will know the signs of the times and the times and seasons. So the Lord, a number of years ago, the Lord began speaking to me about what I needed to expect so I could prepare my church and the body. And as time went by, the Lord began giving me different words and showing me different things in the spirit of prophetically of what we were supposed to expect. Amen. So now every month the Lord gives me different words and the Lord gives me downloads. And really, of course, I take it out of scripture, number one. And then number two, I take it out of Hebraic roots and Hebraic foundational revelation. And from that foundational context, the Lord begins to give me prophetic words and visions of what to expect. Why? Because many times history repeats itself and you will know the future by really knowing the past, by knowing the word of God, number one, and in knowing the history of God within the biblical time frame. So today, I'm talking about the prophetic word of the month for September. And I believe that this is a month to remember. And I believe that September is the month of the kingly anointing. Everyone say kingly anointing. Now, we understand that Jesus is the king of kings, which means that you also are a king. The Bible says that we are a royal priesthood. Not only are we priests to God, where we minister to the Lord, but we are also royal. Royalty means kingly and queenly. Royalty means that there is a kingdom authority, royal legislative anointing on your life. Amen. So this is a month of the kingly anointing. And we're going to go deeper into this. But the whole purpose of this month really is to transition us into the new Hebrew year, 5783. And in the next few weeks, you're going to be hearing me talk more and more about the prophetic word for 5783 and 2023. So to amen. But you see, this is the month called Elul, E-L-U-L, -L, Elul. Someone say Elul. And this is the 12th month and the last month of the Hebrew calendar, 5782. This is the 12th month. And we already know that 12 in Hebrew stands for what? Kingdom, government, and legislation. There are 12 tribes. There are 12 disciples. There's 12 stones, 12 months. So 12 in Hebrew means kingdom, government, and authority. So this is a month of kingdom government authority. Amen. This is the final month of the Hebrew year 5782. And as I've said many times, how you finish a year will determine how you start the new year. And I don't know about you, but I want to start 5783. I want to start the new Hebrew year with the power of God, with the glory of God. So how you finish this year is going to determine how you enter into the new year. Someone say amen. And let me tell you, I believe the Lord, finally last week when I was in Florida, the Lord gave me the word for the year. I was praying literally for about two months. I was pressing in God, what is the word for 2023 and 5783? The Lord didn't give it to me for two months, but literally last week, as I was in Florida, in the company of prophets, the Lord gave me the clear word for the new year. Amen. And I want you to hear this. This is the first time I'm publicly sharing this on this platform. 5783 and 2023, it is the year of resurrection and divine direction. I want everybody to pray. I don't know why there's a lag with the internet. But 5783 and 2023, it is the year of resurrection and divine direction. Someone say amen. And I'm going to share more about that in the next weeks to come. But I want you to remember 
where you heard first, I'm going to say first, where you first heard the word of God for the new year. 5783 is the year of resurrection and divine direction. If you receive that, say amen. But you see, Elul or September is the last month of this Hebrew year. And I don't know about you, but I want to finish well. It's not about how you start. It's about how you finish. Amen. Jesus is both the author and the finisher of our faith. So I want to finish this year well. Amen. So the books are going to close. The auditing books are closing. The books of life, the books of judgment are closing. My goodness. And the Lord is about to shut the door on this year. And let me tell you, in this last month of Elul and September, the Spirit of God is going to do so many supernatural wonders, miracles, that's going to leave you in awe. That's why in this month, there's a 10-day period called the 10 Days of Awe. It's going to leave you in awe of the goodness and the glory of God. Now, if you believe to amen, I want to give us some hearts and likes. Share this on your wall because now I am beginning to go into the meat of this teaching and the meat of this word today. So I'm going to say amen. So Elul, September, it is the last month of the Hebrew year, 5782. And Elul, E-L-U-L, -L, is actually an acronym which comes from the verse, Song of Solomon, chapter 6, verse 3. Song of Solomon 6.3. The Bible says, I am my beloved, and my beloved is mine. I belong to the Lord, and the Lord belongs to me. I want you to say that. The Lord belongs to me, and I belong to the Lord. I am my beloved, and he is mine. Amen. So Elul, which is the month of September, this month, it is the acronym, four-letter word acronym, of this verse. I am my beloved, and my beloved is mine. Amen. And literally what that word means in Hebrew is Ani le dodi ve dodi li. Ani le dodi ve dodi li. Ani le dodi ve dodi li. I am my beloved, and he is mine. Ani le dodi ve dodi li. And from that passage of Song Solomon chapter 6, verse 3, from that passage is the acronym E-L-U-L -L or Elul. Okay, in English it's E-L-U-L, -L, but it's Elul, which means I am my beloved and he is mine. So this is a month, Elul, where you're going to so feel one with God. You're going to feel so belonging with the Lord. I feel the Lord right now. You're going to feel so close. You're going to feel like you belong to the Lord. My goodness, I am my beloved and he is mine. Did you know that you belong to Jesus? And did you know that he also belongs to you? So this is the month where you're going to feel the nearness, the closeness, the glory of God like never before. So I'm going to say amen. Why? Because times are accelerating. The spirit of God is accelerating, intensifying. And in the high holy days, there's going to be a high level of the power of God, a high level of the glory of God. There's going to be a high frequency of the power of Jesus Christ. Somebody say power. Amen. It's going to increase the 10 days of all. So as this year comes to an end, there's going to be fireworks. There's going to be signs and wonders. There's going to be supernatural breakthroughs. As this year comes to an end, you're going to literally be on top of the mountain and feel so close with the Lord. And revelations, downloads, uploads, encounters, promotions. I declare that September is the month of the kingly anointing. If you believe it, say amen. Somebody say kingly anointing. This month is also called. The king is in the field, Jesus. The king is in the field. Somebody say, the king is in my field. Elul is also known as the month where the king is in the field. Why? Because he's so close that he's reachable. 
This is the month the Jewish scholars say that God as the king is not in the palace, but it comes down to the field. Come on, hear me now. The field stands for harvest, agricultural, plenty, abundance, plunder, where the king leaves the palace and he comes down to the field and he's so close to the people where you can literally grab a hold of the king in the field. He's real. You can experience it. He is close. He is near. So this month, Elul also stands for the kings in the field. Literally, harvest is ripe. Bang, bang, bang. It's going to just, bah, bah, it's just going to plop into your lap. It's just going to fall right before you. The glory of God is so near. The king is in the field. Someone say, Amen. I want you to just reach out your hand right now. Jesus. The king of glory is in the field. And you are about to harvest with God. You're about to harvest with the Lord. The king is in the field. You can just reach out and grab a hold of the Lord. Yes, he's always near. Amen. The Bible says draw near to God and he will draw near. Yes, he's always near. But this is a month because it's the last of month. And because there's so much prayers, repentance, testruva, sacrifice, offerings, because of the last month to accelerate you, to birth you into the new year, 5783. So therefore, the king of glory leaves the palace and comes into the field so that you can feel him, touch him, receive him, embrace him. Someone say amen. Let me ask you, have you gone through some hell? In the last two months, we already know the month of Tammuz and the month of Av, literally the summer season, June and July. Those were times of great destruction and difficulties for the Jewish people, all throughout the Bible and all throughout history. But those two months of mourning is now leaping into Jubilee, has prepared you for God encounters. For glory and count. I want you to lift up your hands right now. Jesus. The king is in the field. Ani le dodi ve dodi li. Elo. I am my beloved. And he is mine. This is a month where mercy. Is going to come upon you. Mercy is going to flow from your head. All the way down to your feet. The Lord is lathering you up. He's oiling you up. He is anointing you. Come on, somebody. He is anointing you afresh. Why? Because this is the month where you will become the head and not the tail. The beginning of the 10 days of awe, it starts off with Rosh Hashanah, which is the head of the year, which means the new year. But somebody says, I am the head and not the tail. What does the head stand for? The head stands for authority, government. And for kingdom. Are you following me today, church? This is the month where God is releasing a new oil on your head. And you will become the head and not the tail. How do you become the head? By repentance. By humility. By humbling yourself. By going low before God. And this is the month of season where the Jews will go into introspection. What does that mean? They begin to observe and examine their lives because they want to end well and start well. So they begin to examine their lives and search their hearts and repent. Jesus, who's ready for greater glory? Who's ready for the kingly anointing? Who's ready for you to become the head I'm telling you, I'm prophesying right now. Many of you are going to experience promotions and upgrades. If you receive it, say amen. Many of you this month, hear me now. This is the determining factor. This month, a little September, this is the determining month of how you start the new Hebrew year. Yes, God moves in the Greek calendar. December 2022, 2023, the new year, January. But this is God's calendar. This is God's appointed times. 
Someone say amen. My goodness, I felt the power of God. So this is the month that's going to determine how far you go in the new Hebrew year. Jesus. In the new year. But as you humble yourself, teshuva, which means repent in Hebrew, as you teshuva, as you repent, then the Lord will begin to accelerate you, raise you, upgrade you, and promotion. Who's ready for sudden promotion? Who's ready for sudden upgrades? Come on, someone say upgrades. No devil, no witch, no Jezebel can demote you, can downgrade you. God's hand will lift you up before your haters, before your secret Judases, before those antagonizers. I declare right now, hear me now, by the end of this month, by the end of September, Elul, God is going to release a kingly anointing in your life. And what happens when the king steps in the room, when the king of glory steps in the field, every other enemy is destroyed. Every other enemy, high, wicked, altar place that is against the knowledge of God is brought low and destroyed and it is dealt with. I hear God saying, I'm going to deal with those people in Jesus' name. God is going to deal. Come on, somebody. God is going to deal with those unsettled issues by the end of this month. If you receive it, say amen. I hear God saying every unsettled, unsettled situation is going to be settled by the end of this month. Some of you are dealing with lawsuits, court cases. Some of you are praying about transitioning. Some of you are praying about leaving a ministry, leaving a job. Leave. Some of you are you're praying. But let me tell you, by the end of this month, God is going to deal with those unsettled issues in your heart. Someone say amen. If you receive it, say amen. Why? Because he's getting the table ready for the new year. He's getting your destiny scrolls ready for the new year. He's accelerating and intensifying and preparing you, his people, to finish this year high on the mountaintop before we start the new year. If you believe it, say amen. The kingly anointing is coming over you. Ani le dodi ve dodi le. The king is in the field. I am my beloved, and he is mine. I want to say a few more things before I release the three prophetic points for you to expect this month. Someone say amen. And I do want to pray for some people. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I know I gave a lot of information. But again, this is the month of the 10 days of awe. It's the final month. It's the 12th month. It's the month of repentance to finish well. It is the month where God, the king, is in the field. Amen. And it's the month of the greatest transition of your life, where the tail becomes the head, the below becomes above, the down under becomes the overcomer. God is causing you to be the head and to walk in the key anointing. Right now, people of God, before this month is over, before this year is over, 5782, God is going to release signs and wonders. God is going to release supernatural miracles. Amen. Jesus. The Lord is going to release the power of God like never before, before this month is over, September. So I want to prophesy three things here, okay? I want to give you three prophetic points for you to receive, for you to become, for you to activate. Because these three prophetic points are going to take place in your life in this month. I pray he, she, who has ears to hear, 
will hear. Number one, the first prophetic point you can expect is a purging. Some say purge. What happens when there's a purging? When there's a purging, there's a burning off of the old. There is shaking, there's testing. The fire of God's love intensifies. And when there's a purging, the old dies. Listen, in the next month, there's going to be a lot of spiritual, supernatural activity. Hear me, people of God. If you're with me today, give me some hearts and likes and share. Because I'm prophesying right now. In the month of September, there's going to be so much spiritual, supernatural activity. Because the devil is trying to hold you back. The Lord is accelerating and upgrading and is pushing you forward. But the enemy is trying to stir up evil, demonic activity to hold you back. But it's going to be broken in Jesus' name. And not only that, says God, but this will be a month of great purging. Normally in September to October, we see, come on, hear me now. We see terrorist attacks. We see recessions. Markets, economies crashing. We see extreme weathers and natural disasters in this time frame. Why? Because even as I prophesied before, the Lord said from September to November, we need to pray from two to four months. Who here remembers that word? The Lord, for, for the next two to four months, we need to pray from September to November. Amen. Because November is the midterm elections in the United States. And that is the beginning of the time of Hanukkah. But the Lord said from September to November, we need to pray. But usually around this time, there is the falling and the rising of kingdoms and governments. Amen. That is the purging. That is the purging fire of God. So many of you are going to experience a purging, a renewal, a repentance. Things are going to be released. Things are going to be let go. Let go of the old. Let go of the dead people. Let go of the dead dream. Let it go. Shoo. And watch what God does. Someone say amen. So the first prophetic point that I want to release over you in this month of the king anointing, the month of Elul, September, Elul, the month of the kingly anointing, the high holy days. Number one, purging. Because where you are going, certain people cannot go with you anymore. I cut it loose in Jesus' name. I said, where you are going, certain people cannot go to that elevation, to that height. During the high holy days, there's going to be such a high presence of the fear of God that many people will not make it. So some say purging. Number two, the second prophetic point I want to release over you is promotion. Some say promotion. Why? Because God is going to lift up your head as you repent, as you humble yourself, as you teshuvah. Or in, in the Hebrew, there's a special prayer of forgiveness. Some say forgiveness. This is the month of selikot, which in Hebrew means forgiveness. And it's the type of forgiveness, selikot, that you only do during Elul, during the high holy days. You forgive yourself. You receive forgiveness from God. You forgive others. You ask others to forgive you. And as you sell a court, the Lord begins to promote you. Amen. Why? Because as you go low before God, as you humble yourself before the Lord, His mighty right hand will lift you up. And when God's mighty right hand lifts you up, you will be unstoppable. Amen. Your promotion is secure. Your upgrade is assured. It's written in the blood of Yeshua. Jesus. 
So this is the month of the head of the year where you will become the head. Where you will receive new oil on the head of your government, on the head of authority, on the head of kingdoms. So hear me now, many of you are about to receive promotions in your job, in your career, in your ministry. There's going to be ordinations. There's going to be sending out higher pay raises, pay grades. There's going to be new recognition. Come on, somebody. Shoo. You will go from overlooked to overbooked. You will go from ignored to mandatory. So this is the month of Elul, where God is beginning to promote you. Amen. Higher levels, new places, new spaces, new realms, new glories. Come on, people of God. Share this on your wall right now. Tag somebody who needs to hear this. If I am a man of God, let these words be true. Let me tell you, I declare and I decree in your life. God is beginning to rip open the veil and the head is going to show. Your head is going to be visible and God is going to anoint your head with the glory of Jesus. Amen. If you receive that same and that is promotion. The king is in the field. The eyes of God are about to recognize you. The eyes of the Lord. Excuse me. I am my beloved and he is mine. And in this month, the father is going to boast in you. He's going to raise you up. Dance around you. Sing over you. Jesus. My goodness, lift up your hands, church. I hear God saying, I am proud of you. I am proud of many of you. How you have withstood those attacks. How you stood in the midst of attacks. How you continue to love me and praise me and praise my name. I hear the Lord saying, I am proud of you. And I am bestowing upon you a crown of honor, a crown of double portions. And in this month and in this season, I'm going to raise you up. Because I'm going to live through you and move through your life, says God. Someone say amen. Lift up your hands. Your secret prayer life. Is going to manifest with public power. Your secret suffering is going to reveal a greater glory. You cannot be hidden anymore. You're going to be revealed. God is taking the Davids out of hiddenness, God is bringing the Josephs out of hiddenness. God is bringing you out of hiddenness, out of smallness. God is bringing you from the caves of hiddenness. Amen. Jesus. Someone say amen. And the last prophetic point I want to declare over you is plunder. Amen. It is plunder. Someone say plunder. This is the month where the king is in the field. The king leaves the palace in the month of the low September and he comes into the field of harvest. The agricultural field of wheat, barley. Wheat, barley is gold. It's heavy. It stands for God's word, his Torah, the living word. It stands for the glory of God, the presence of God. It stands for the harvest of souls. So this is a month where God is releasing financial harvest, financial plunder, financial favor. Come on, somebody. This is the month, a little September, where the king is in the field. And the field is going to 
release a ripe recompense, a ripe harvest. Come on, people of God, help me to break 300 today. The king is going to release a ripe harvest. What happened with the story of Ruth? Ruth found her Boaz in the field. Boaz stood for Jesus, a Messiah figure, the kinsman redeemer. And Ruth went from leftovers to, she went from leftovers to bundles to the field. And the Lord is going to give you Boaz moments, Boaz encounters in the field of harvest. Where you will go from leftovers to bundles to the field. Amen. Get ready to own the field. Get ready to access. Get ready to inheritance. Get ready to receive. Get ready to gain. Get ready. Somebody just wrote, excuse me, barley is not gold. It is the poor people's food. No, barley stands for bread, which stands for wealth and money. Please understand, Bethlehem, it means the house of bread. How do you make bread? Barley. Everything in the Bible, the wheat stands for harvest. And it's golden color for gold. So God is releasing that anointing for plunder and for harvest. The Lord is releasing the grace. For you to reap benefits. The Bible says do not forget his benefits. Amen. Come on. There are benefits. Rewards. There are things that God has for you. Rights. Citizens rights of God's kingdom. And the Lord is releasing that grace over your life. Where you will receive plunder. Some say, Amen. You will receive plunder. You will receive the plunder of God. You will receive the grace of God, the glory of God. Brian James says, Harvest is here. Amen. Harvest is here. Harvest is here. I want you to lift up your hands right now, church. And I want you to begin to pray in the Spirit of God. Come on. I want you to pray in the Spirit of God. In this month of September alone, expect purging, expect promotion, and expect plunder. I pray right now that the angels of the Lord will locate you. This is a month, come on somebody, where you're going to feel so close to Jesus. You're going to feel so close to the Lord. You're going to be drawn in. Because how you finish this year will determine how you start next year. 5783. Amen. Come on, pray, Spirit, people of God. Jaba Karabrosa Tarabrande de Rosha Tarabraka Tarede de Rosha Ta Rabasquadrum de Rosha. Come on, people of God. How many break the 300 viewership today? You see levels. We're breaking levels today. But I believe somebody needs to hear this word that September is the month. Amen. We just broke it. September is the month of the kingly anointing. Where God is going to take you from pauper to prince, from servants to king, from slave to glory. He's going to release a kingly anointing in your life. Amen. He's going to release the kingly anointing in your life. Hallelujah. Where the Spirit of the Lord is releasing new oil, new kingdom jurisdiction, authority, legislation, power. Hallelujah. God is repositioning things. God is moving things around. Hallelujah. And I believe right now in this season, the Spirit of the Lord is saying, get ready for you to become the head. And it's not a thing of pride. It's not a thing of, oh, I, I only want to do this because, no, no. I want to be seen. I want to be noticed. No. 
It's literally God promoting you. The Bible says promotion comes not from the east, the west, or south, but it comes from heaven above. Amen. And the Lord says, even in this season, God is purging some fake friends. God is purging your soul, your heart. God is purging. Because there is a transference of wealth that's coming. Lift up your hands, church, wherever you're watching from. Jesus. Jesus, my goodness. I could barely talk or move right now. Jesus, Jesus, the king is in the field. I am my beloved, and he is mine. Jeez. Let me tell you, I feel the fire of God. I feel the fire of God. I can barely move right now. It's the weight of his kavod. It's the weight of his presence. Jesus. Come on, just worship the Lord. Just worship Jesus right now. Just worship the Lord right now. Thank you, Jesus. Just thank him and praise him right now. Jesus. Just thank him and praise him right now. Jesus. Oh, Jesus, we turn away from our wicked ways. We turn away from our sins, known and unknown. And God, we ask you that you would deal with every unsettled issue. God, we ask you, come on, people of God, pray in the spirit. Lord, we ask you, as we humble ourselves, my goodness, Jesus, I don't know, but do you feel that heavy weight of God, that kavod presence of the Lord? My goodness, I could barely talk. I could barely move. I could barely open my eyes right now. Jesus, Jesus, we don't want to go ahead of you. We don't want to be behind you. We want to be right in the center of your will, in complete obedience with Jesus. Lift up your hands. Fire of the Holy Ghost. I declare and I decree, September, the month of the Lord, will be a month to remember where the kingly anointing will come upon you. The last will be the first. And how you finish this month, this year, will determine how you start the new year. Someone say amen. Someone say I'm going forward. Someone say the kingly anointing is mine. The king is in the field. And I see right now the Lord is opening up your hearts. Your heart is a storehouse of heaven. Your heart is the vessel of God. And I see the Lord opening up your soul, spirit, heart. And God is outpouring and overflowing. In Jesus' name. Someone say amen. Now, I want everybody to give me some hearts and lights and share this on your wall right now. My goodness. Jesus. The angelic has been released today. The angelic has been released today. Angels are on assignment. And these angels are in an assignment to release the harvest to you, to release the purging and the cleansing over your life. My goodness, if you receive it, say amen. My goodness. Now, people of God, I want to thank you for following and for subscribing. We've pretty much broken the 100,000 likes, over 110,000 follows here on Facebook. So I want to thank you. So let's give the Lord a clap for that. But I want to encourage you and invite you to like our page, subscribe, because your love, your support, your friendship to our ministry means the world and we need you together amen we need to prepare and train a prophetic ecclesia a new breed company in these end time. we need to train and get the gospel out amen 
But today, if you believe in this prophetic word of the kingly anointing, I want to invite you today to sow. I'm telling you, I want to invite you to sow, people of God. Because this month of September, it is the month of the kingly anointing. Remember, it's the last month of 5782. And this is the month that will determine how you start the new year. Now, over the next few weeks, I'm going to be talking a lot more about Rosh Hashanah, the high holy days. And I will talk a lot more about 5783 and 2023. But today, if you receive this word, I want you to say amen. Elul is the 12th and final month of 5782. And 12 in Hebrew stands for kingdom and government. Amen. So I want to open up a time to sow. We're going to post the link to sow in the chat group and pin it. And we're even going to preview it on the screen here. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And even as you are coming in agreement and honoring God with your substance and honoring the word of the Lord, the prophet of God here today. As you are making a pledge to sow and to give unto God. Come on, somebody. I want you to sow and to commit as you are sowing and as you are committing yourself. Because remember, you're sowing because this is going to release blessing on your life. So as you sow, I want you to comment harvest. Amen. Comment harvest. And as you sow and as you comment harvest, I want to call out your name in the spirit, in this realm. I want to call out your name and agree. That harvest will be your portion in Jesus' name. So go ahead, people of God. As you sow, as you make a pledge, Lindewe de Lomo, God bless you. Jabababa, Carolyn Ward, God bless you. Thank you, Lord. Yilan Chang, God bless you. I'm, I'm going to take a few minutes for you to touch and agree, tap and agree. Come into agreement. Felipe, God bless you. Amen. D. Cayetaneto, God bless you. Franz Mulder, God bless you. Likian Samuel Guavis, God bless you. Lisa Buchanan, God bless you. That's right. God keep sowing, keep giving. Hope Galvin, God bless you. Claudine Van Wick, God bless you. Krista Moore, Neelam Joshua. Marilyn, God bless you. Davido Wade, bang, 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 God bless you. Sophia, God bless you. Lisa Buchanan, God bless you. Anache, God bless you. Come on. I agree. Felipe Hubar, God bless you. As we are here together in this room, if you receive the word of the Lord for September, the kingly anointing. Comment harvest as you sow, as you give to God. Sherry, God bless you. Krista Hill, God bless you. Nashira Davidson, God bless you. Amen. Hope, God bless you. Melly, God bless you. Cece, God bless you. Jody, God bless you. Come on, let the nations give back to the Lord. Zaps, Nora, God bless you. Kashika, God bless you. My goodness. If you receive and if you believe, Bless the Lord. Come on. I want you to catch this. Susan, God bless you. Tricia, God bless you. Hope, God bless you. Sweetie, God bless you. Margaret. Riddle, Mirtha, Samuel, God bless you. Hallelujah. Marjorie, God bless you. The way to give is pinned to the top here. Come on, don't stop people of God. Carmen, God bless you. In this atmosphere, in this realm, touch and agree, tap and agree. As I agree with you, you're responding by faith to God. My goodness. 
Lola, God bless you. Pastor Sharon, shalom. Prophet Zalana, shalom. Marilyn, God bless you. Yes, Lord. Come on, I'm going to give about another minute here, people of God. And you can make a pledge to sow. And you can sow later. But at least in this moment, you're standing up and making a pledge so I can call out your name. Palabi, God bless you. Victor, God bless you. Bernetta, God bless you. Tia Parker, Shalom. Brian James, God bless you. Angela Campbell, Shalom. Thank you, Lord. Come on. There's break from the house. The king is in the field. Latrice Canty, God bless you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Marjorie, God bless you. Lisa Lopez, Shalom. Milagre Oliveira, God bless you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Now, people of God, lift up your hands. Prophetess Ivana, God bless you. Lord, I thank you that this is the month of the kingly anointing. Get ready for purging, promotion, and plunder. And the Lord Jesus, SRT, God bless you. In this month, the Lord is going to release a kingly anointing over your life. In this month, the last month of 5782. <sighs> Jessica, God bless you. Shelly Luna, God bless you. Fadella, God bless you. Someone say amen. Yolanda, God bless you. Abundance, Elaine, God bless you. Amen, abundance to you. Thank you, Lord. Look at that. I'm so happy to see how so many people are responding generously. Amen. Davida, God bless you. Sonia Furi, God bless you. Thank you, Lord. Glory, hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. Jessica Chetty, God bless you. Vanessa Huber, God bless you. Look at that. I wanted to shift, but people are still sowing. People are still giving. Thank you, Lord. Lift up hands, church. Thank you for the kingly anointing over your life. In Jesus' name. Someone say amen. Praise God. Well, I want to say thank you, everybody. God bless you. Thank you for watching. I hope this word bless you. Bethany Han, God bless you. I hope this word blessed you today. If you receive, I want to say amen. And I want you to just comment in the, in the comment section what really spoke to you. What was highlighted for you? I want to hear your thoughts and feedback right now. What was highlighted to you? I want to hear your thoughts. Amen. As you comment, because I want to read some of your, your thoughts of highlights. And as you comment, I want to make some announcements here. Remember, our next webinar is going to be September the 12th. And we're going to talk about terminating sighing spirits. If you've ever felt followed, unsafe, monitored, tracked, that's a monitoring spy spirit. And I want to talk about how to destroy spying spirits in your life. Amen. So go ahead and join us for that. It's free. All of our Zoom webinars are now free. One week after that, we have our next Zoom webinar. That's called the 10 Days of Awe, 5783. And we're going to talk about High Holy Days. Rosh Hashanah, we're going to go into the courts of heaven and go before God the judge as books are open before the books are closed. So it's, it's going to be very important. This one is going to be very important. 
I think Dolores, we need to Facebook advertise a little bit because I really want as many people as possible on this. So make sure they're a church. Next, uh, I'm going to be ministering again in Orlando, Florida at Glory Fire Church in Lake Mary area, Orlando, Florida. So if you are in the Florida area, please come join us. Amen. Please come join us. Those meetings are always so powerful. My good friends, Pastor David and Rhonda Raymer, so powerful. Hallelujah. So go ahead and join us. Amen. Oh, actually, this week, Miss Dolores, do we have it? This week, tomorrow, I'm going to be in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Sorry, I went out of order. Excuse me. But I'm going to be ministering in Albuquerque, New Mexico. So if you are in the area, Gallup, New Mexico, Arizona, please come on over, join us. Okay, I'm going to be ministering in Albuquerque, New Mexico this weekend at Glory Bound International, Glory Bound Ministries. Amen. Um, next. We have our next conference coming up. Thank you so much, Mr. Dolores. And again, you can find all of our information at our website or on the Facebook page. All right. Next, um, we have, thank you, Lord, our Colorado meeting. It's the first time I'll ever be in Colorado, first time going there and ministering there. So you want to be there if you're in the Colorado area, region, state. Please come join, show your support. It's going to be very powerful. Amen. Right after that, we have a conference in Central California with my good friend, Apostle Chasden Strickland. If you're in North Central or even South California or Arizona, watch this drive down, fly down. This conference called Demonstration and Power is going to be very powerful. Uh, we were supposed to have Prophet Jeff Jansen, my good friend, ministering with us, but of course he passed, unfortunately, the last year, the last month. But, uh, my good friend Apostle Chazen will be with us, so go ahead and join. It's going to be life-changing. Amen. And of course, um, I have a group mentorship called 7M Glory Equip. I would be honored to mentor you, to walk with you. I want to pour into your life even more. And this online group mentorship called 7M Glory Equip is filled with dynamic world changers. And if you are a part of 7M, you have access to me even more so. And also you are part of a private family, an online family of world changers. And we have at least two Zoom meetings privately for our 7M group mentorship. So I would love to mentor you. I would love to walk with you more. And I believe mentoring is one of the most important things to do to receive in your life. Amen. So I'd love to mentor you, to walk with you, and uh, pour into you even more. Hallelujah. And last but not least, as we close today, um, we are starting a new company. This is not a part of my ministry, but this is a separate thing called Gloco Glory Coalition. And we are gathering uh, kingdom entrepreneurs, like-minded people who want to learn more about the future, who want to learn more about NFTs, cryptocurrency, and the metaverse. You can join by going to Global Co or Glory Coalition. Uh, it's a private private Facebook group page. But we are honestly gathering believers, Christians, and preparing Christians for the metaverse. And eventually, Global Co, Glory Coalition, which is my company, my group, we are bringing in Christian ministers and believers to equip us for Web3 for the metaverse so that we will be the future we will be in the future amen so if you want to learn more about cryptocurrency and the metaverse join this group 
because we are in the process of creating our own cryptocurrency and our own metaverse. Yes, it's going to take a few years. It's a long-term project because it's such a big project. But this is something we are tirelessly working on. So if you want to be a part of this group and learn more, really be educated, be a part of a community, a group where we are all learning together about these things, join the group and it'll bless your life. God bless your friends. I love you. This is Dr. Pastor Ben Lin. And I'm so glad you tuned into our broadcast today. September is the Hebrew month of Elul. It is the last month, the 12th month of the Hebrew year 5782. And in this month, the king is in the field. I am my beloved and he is mine. And this is the month of the kingly anointing. As God prepares you for the high holy days, the 10 days of awe, get ready for the kingly anointing to come upon you. Please make sure to register, to subscribe, give our page a like and a follow. Thank you for giving us hearts and likes and for sharing this on your wall. Is your friend, your Favorite prophet, one of your favorite prophetic voices, Dr. Pastor Ben Lim. And I want to say thank you, God bless you, and I'll see you soon. Expect a great month of September. Ciao.